Hello everybody, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we are studying analog electronics, negative feedback amplifiers, send that uh, voltage shunt and uh, we have already done uh, input impedance derivation for the input impedance. This is for output impedance, voltage shunt feedback. So I have already drawn the diagram as uh, in the earlier uh, episode. So we will continue from that and uh, we are considering output impedance. So two conditions has to be met. That is first condition is RL has to be made infinity, reasons has already been discussed and uh, IES has to be made zero. So uh, um, I will I'll do it that is it is made infinity and uh, it is made zero. That is no current is flowing here. So uh, two things will be affected that is II equal to IS minus IF will become II equal to minus IF. Uh, this is the part and, uh, and RL is infinity obviously so this will be it. I naught is the current that is available. Uh, so uh, we'll start with the I will writing KVL here. So KVL is this is V naught obviously all available V naught this is V naught. So minus V naught I'll write the KVL here. By, uh, minus V naught plus I naught Z naught plus A into I I equal to 0. So V naught equal to I naught Z naught plus A into I I. Uh, from the derivation that is from the condition that has been derived as V naught equal to I naught Z naught plus I will replace I I with minus I F that is minus A I F. I F can be replaced by beta into V naught. So V naught equal to I naught Z naught and uh, uh, minus A I F can be written as beta V naught so beta V naught and uh, thus further derivation will give us 1 plus A beta equal to I naught into Z naught and uh, ultimately V naught upon I naught is equal to Z naught upon 1 plus A beta. And that is nothing but ZOF. Why? Because ZOF is again if I'll if I it should be uh, explained in the at the initial stage only. But nevertheless, that is what is ZOF is ZOF is the amount of voltage that is available here. This is ZOF. Let it be. This is ZOF. The amount of voltage available here is V naught and the amount of current that is available is I naught. So ZOF is equal to V naught upon I naught. So this is nothing but that in that only that is ZOF is Z naught equal Z naught upon 1 plus A beta. So thus we come to the conclusion that is ZIF is ZI upon ZI upon 1 plus A beta and ZOF is also equal to Z naught upon 1 plus A beta. That is both the input and the output impedances are decreasing and it has been divided by a factor that is greater than 1 for voltage shunt. So we will deal with current series in the next episode. Till then goodbye and consider subscribing this will help the channel to grow. Thank you.